deep breath. Let every muscle in your body go. Got it. Oh yeah. causing the shoulder thing you still have it no actually it got better on sunday and okay. this morning i woke up I'm like oh it's going on yeah because what happens I mean, is it might the, be a little the, bit like uh, the shoulder is like there. Yeah. yeah or like I've, I've had people where like if it's a big new piece of scar tissue they can't move their shoulder just like strangely yeah, no, Teresa, i'll tell you about problem. that yeah. she, she had a weird one this her scar tissue like she just woke up one morning and she couldn't move her arm it was just like a dead arm That's not my husband is. and then but then after was it three visits three visits totally fine it was like gone and because she used to be, I think she'll tell you, she was like a roller derby girl thing. You know, <laughs> That's awesome. Pretty cool, pretty cool sport. Head right back there for me. So the one that this is, this is you, and I sliced it like that, and here's the spinal cord. It's here in the back. So I think we did do this one too, the one with the backwards one. Yeah. Yeah, it's that one again, but a different spot. Okay. It's backwards. Backwards. All right. Whew. Fun time. No more coffee, no more coffee. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Okay. You can make it, Patrick. You can live. You can survive. Okay. Scooch all the way to the right hand side there. And back towards me. I'll hold your head. And a little bit more. And relax. Let that go. And it dips. Okay, we're close actually, but not quite. Oh, okay. Another inch. We're actually pretty close. I'm putting this high up. Right about there. And relax. That almost is a little half inch. Right there. And relax. Oh yeah, that was one. Because <laughs> that pulled your whole pelvis the second you did that. That's good. No. <laughs> I'm going to move you for you. Okay. There's one. A little bit more. And let the head fall to the floor. I'm going to turn it just slight. I'm going to get the pressure built. Deep breath. Let every muscle in your body go. Got it. Oh yeah. Muscle in your body go. Got it. Oh yeah. Chop here. Little chop there. It doesn't take much after the first ones either. Cross those guys. A hint taller. Okay. Let's take a couple steps back till your heels are close. There you go. Chin down. Right about there. Go right on that T1. Shoulders relax. Oh, that was so easy. That's a good one. Right there, face down. That's what they call a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> Although not as good as cake. But. I was going to say. <laughs> not quite as good. But, but better than nothing. That is true. <laughs> better than nothing, not quite as good as cake. Back right there. <laughs> That's not a bad place to be in, though. Across yeah. the arms, it's harder to be cake. Shoulders relaxed. Look straight. Look at the ball. Good. Okay. Yeah, it's actually going pretty easy. Relax, go down. Nice. Okay, another one. Right about. And cross. Only difference here, let your body slump a little bit. Right there. Look straight ahead. Let your head fall. Yes. Easy. Easy. So that little swirl. That one was loud. My dad used to call me. What's the main kid's name? Oh. Um. I know it's from that movie. Go okay, ahead, relax. <laughs> and let it go. I think it's because I look like him. Ooh, yeah. When I was a kid. Yeah. I looked like Spanky. That yeah, because you got into all kinds of trouble and got a gang together. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you have a dog that had the. There you go, relax those legs. Yeah, Spanky. That was my dad called me. <laughs> Well, he also, they, they used to call me the Milkman. That was the other nickname. That one was for a more embarrassing reason. Yeah. Because my fart smelled like old milk. So they called me the Milkman when I was a child. <laughs> I'm airing that out for everybody on YouTube now. So see, I thought it was... It's not like that anymore. <laughs> the milkman's kid or something, but, you know. <laughs> well, yep, that's what they used to call me, milkman or spanky. I mean, we can Prefer spanky. like that, you know. You know, but see, I just think they blamed me for any farts in the house. I don't think... Me too. <laughs> Aren't those classes fun to take? <laughs> no. I used to be a swim... I told you that I used to be a swim instructor. No, you didn't. Oh, I didn't tell you that? No. What the heck, Paul? I used to be a swim instructor and a lifeguard for like three, five, three, what, five years? Long time. When I was in college. Late high school. 
early college. That's funny. And it was so funny because uh, I used to give all the kids nicknames. Like I remember I named one kid Tony the Tiger. I actually came with these nicknames. I had one kid, he looked a lot like a young Seth Rogen. Oh yeah? And, and I was like, <laughs> That's funny. and he was older, he was like a teenager. So you know how teenagers are, they hate nicknames. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, Seth Rogen. He was like, I'm not Seth Rogen. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I think they do. Who, who's Seth Rogen? <laughs> Look straight ahead. Let the head fall. Yeah, he was. He was a hilarious kid. I grew up in a lake, and we were taught oh, how to swim. We just be thrown off the dock. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like because you were you also were in Minnesota, weren't you? Sir? Yeah, so, well, I was born and raised in South Dakota, but okay. Yeah. Did you ever have you ever gone to Lake Minnetonka when you're in Minnesota? Nope. Oh, you gotta go on Lake Minnetonka. Buffalo Lake and. Take a big step back. Rebecca. Oh, Let your upper body slump way down, right about there. Look straight ahead. Let that fall. Perfect. Let me get a picture. Yeah, Lake Minnetonka, you gotta go.